Hi, my name is Bernie Maloney of Powered by Teams, an Agile consultancy based in Silicon Valley, here with another episode of Agile 5x5, a series of short 5-10 to 10 minute videos where we help you with tips on Agile topics. So, have you ever been trying to get a group to make a decision or come to consensus and they just kind of struggle? Or would you like a technique that you can use to help make your meetings move along a lot more smoothly? Well, that's today's topic, facilitating group decisions. When you've been trying to make decisions, as you go around the room and you're getting everybody's opinion, do you get to that one person in the room, like maybe they're really highly paid or they're the big dog and all of a sudden the opinions shift? Well, that's happening because what you're doing is a serial reveal. You're revealing the opinions one by one. And when you do it serially and you get to that big dog in the room, they introduce something even inadvertently or unintentionally that's known as subject matter expert bias. So their opinion as a subject matter expert starts to bias the answers that come after them. That happens a lot when you do serial reveals. So what we do in Agile are a lot of simultaneous reveals and a pretty common one to use is something that's known as thumb voting. Or if you're a fan of the core protocols, you might hear it called the decider protocol. Now you're recognizing, yeah, sure, thumbs have a thumbs up state and thumbs have a thumbs down state, but there's a third state in thumbs, which is sideways. And some of you are going, wait, I'm doing these things virtually. Uh, how, what? Uh, yeah, this works virtually as well. See, plus one in chat works really well for thumbs up, minus one in chat for thumbs down, and zero for thumbs sideways. Now the way to do this is have a brief discussion about whatever the topic is that you're talking about. Um, time box it maybe, and then call the question. Now when you call the question, call the question clearly. Frame it so that everybody understands what the indicators all mean. And then as a facilitator, you want to give people just a brief amount of time to consider it and then call the question. It might be like, ready, one, two, three, vote, and then go out neutral yourself. That helps to avoid you introducing subject matter expert bias. You can reveal your opinion later. Now, if every, it also um, introduces some psychological safety because everybody knows it's time to vote. It also encourages that voting to go along. Now, if everybody's sideways and neutral or one way, you're good, you can move on. You don't have to beat a dead horse. That can help move your meetings along a lot more smoothly. If there's a difference of opinion, you wanna welcome it. You wanna be psychologically safe with that. Cool, what did we miss? Um, like get that out on the table, have another brief discussion about it so everybody shares that point of view. Okay, time box that as well and then call the question again. Now, what psychology tells us is at that point you can actually make a tiebreaker decision. See, if people have had the opportunity for their voice to be heard, they're far more likely to support whatever decision is made, even if it goes contrary to that opinion. Now, if you've liked this video, please, on our YouTube channel, like, and on your social networks, um, share it out, okay? And subscribe if you like as well. Until our, oh, and if you wanna stay in touch with us, okay, you can reach us at poweredbyteams.com slash contact. We really do hope to be of service to you and your organizations. Until our next video, be well, stay vibrant, and thank you.